How we doing? It's Rob from Upstart Epoxy. Take a look at this. I cannot wait to tell you what we are making today. This is a giant L-shaped bar. It's 10 feet by five feet that we're gonna give this beautiful effect to it. We're gonna take this white epoxy, we're gonna swirl it into pre-poured epoxy. It's gonna be crazy! It's gonna be off the hook. But before we do that, please make sure Take a second to smash that like button, hit the notifications, turn those on, and subscribe. Let's do this, take a look at it. Look at this, look at this swirl, look at this effect. Now in order to do this effect, I've already taken the bar, we've kind of made the form of the bar, we've put the, the slabs, arranged the slabs. I've done a first stage pour, which was actually a three quarter inch deep pour from Upstart start Epoxy with this nice deep blue color in it to kind of make it look like it was a river. And then I've t done a second pour, a clear Upstart Epoxy deep pour um, that's a quarter of an inch thick. And it's been sitting for about like 12 to 15 hours or so to get it to this beautiful gel state. We did a clear pour there. We did a, we prepped the white so it's nice and thick beautiful gel, almost to a gel state, but not enough so that when I stick this, uh, this, wooden, um, this wooden stick in it, not enough to churn up bubbles. Okay, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna swirl that white in, and when it cures, it's gonna be awesome. Gonna look just like this. This was the test piece that I made before I made this giant 10 foot by five foot bar. Cause you know what? It's too big of a project to mess up. So we gotta practice, practice, practice. Got it under control. Let's go, check it out. We'll start at the very, very end and dip it in, give it a little swirl. Awesome. Look at that effect. Oh, so cool. I got to do this slowly because if I move too fast, it is going to create those bubbles in it. And we don't want that. As it cures too, you'll, you're going to notice that it's going to separate. The epoxy is going to blend it's going to do what it does best. See, it's kind of in a gel state, but not so much as to turn around and provide issues with issues with bubbles being created in it. Kind of go slow, 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 slow. Don't go too fast. And I certainly don't want to drop the stir stick in there. Fishing that out probably wouldn't be the best. Now, how do I know what to do with the swirl? I'm just kind of having some fun, being a little artistic with it. You know, one could even write their name in it if they felt. Drop their name Bob. Their friends call him Bob. Just drop that in there for fun. Go to the other piece. So cool. So crazy. I gotta slow down. Make sure to go nice and slow because if I go too fast, it'll churn up some bubbles. Again, upstart epoxies gonna be crystal clear if you pour it and leave it. But this part we gotta be really, really careful with. Give it the correct. Look at that! So amazing! A little bubble, we're gonna pop that. Got it. Go back in it, get those bubbles all out of there that show up. Now again, we're only getting bubbles on it because I'm sitting here churning it up right now to get this. Look at that. So much fun. So much fun. It's so cool. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm like super excited for what this is looking like. This is going to come out absolutely perfect when it's all said and done. I can't wait to put the final, you know, three quarters of an inch on top of this, um, this white pigment that I'm putting in. Um, and then the final tabletop epoxy as well. 
you know, all from Upstart Epoxy. All right, so check it out. We just finished the swirl. This table is gonna be off the hook amazing. It is so cool. We just took, again, we poured a quarter inch thick layer of clear epoxy. We also prepped the white, um, put the white pigment in the leftover bit of that epoxy, um, got, the time, got the chemical reaction going so it gets to a gel state so we can get it to this spot where we can take that and swirl that in there and let that swirl stay. If you do it too early, it's gonna separate and kind of blend together totally. And we didn't want that, we wanted this effect. And you gotta get it, and you, you gotta get it at the exact right time where that chemical reaction is taking place so that you can still get that stick in there, swirling in so you're not mixing it like it's taffy. taffy. Um, so you're mixing it still smooth and nice. This thing is gonna be off, off the hook. The next step, what is the next step that's gonna make this thing awesome? We're gonna pour another three quarter inch thick deep pour on it to get all the way to the top of the wood slats. And after we do that, we're gonna level, level it all out perfectly. We're gonna sand it down and we're gonna do one more final epoxy pour. We're gonna do a flood coat on the whole thing so it's super gloss shiny. parts a gallon is going to be more than enough for this I want a little bit extra off to the side so we don't have to do a two mix setup um, so we're gonna two-part epoxy we're gonna pour both of these half gallons in there we're gonna get a full gallon it's gonna be crazy let's do this so just mix it up mix it up since they're both going in at the same time here we go Gonna get that in there. Turn up. The waiting game sometimes. Sometimes. So one of the things you can do uh, to get it to flow out of the containers more, it, when we get to the colder months, is you can kind of give them a little bit of a warm up. Not too much because you don't want them to overheat, right? Um, but you want you can warm them up to make sure they're a bit more viscous. Doing two things at once. Yeah. And we're gonna do this until they drip clear. I'm just gonna keep holding them up. Remember, I'm gonna scrape the sides and the bottom of the bucket. Get all that epoxy so it makes it super clear. We want the blade of the mixer to be all the way in the epoxy too, so we're not churning up too much bubble, bubbles. We want it on a low speed. We're not going to mix it super, super fast. Get 
take a pause, adjust. This one is done. Scrape the bottom, the sides, the whole deal. We are going to take this first round of epoxy. We're going to use it as a seal coat on this beautiful resin river bar. Check this out. This is when you first get to see the crazy, cool, amazing color of that epoxy, that wood grain. Oh man, is it going to pop. This is going to be awesome. Check it out. Spread it out to the side. And then we're going to let this drip down that edge, of course. But we want to make sure we don't just waste all of it. We want to make sure to get it all the way covered, full coverage. Again, don't overwork it. Just spread it. It's going to self-level anyways when we put the flood coat on. But right now we're just doing a first round of a seal coat here. Okay? This is just to seal the pores in the wood so that oxygen doesn't escape. The air that's in the wood itself, we're trying to seal it inside of the wood so it doesn't escape and create bubbles on the final epoxy coat, my friends. Again, don't overwork it. Just spread it. Spread it lightly. Now I'm going to start doing it this way because I think that's a little bit more effective. Again, this first coat is simply to seal the pores in the wood. That's it. So we, we don't want a whole bunch of bubbles escaping. Churn it up the epoxy more than it needs to. Prevent, help prevent overheating. Because the last thing you want is the epoxy to overheat as you're working that. Certainly deep pour, tabletop, same deal, same situation. Look at that. Look at this. This is so gorgeous. The color, the depth that's coming from this upstart epoxy. River resin table. Rev resin river table? It's not even a table. It's a bar spread it out. And now this is the time where I start taking it over the edge on purpose, right? We're going to start taking it over the edge so that we get those edges sealed. Now, of course, it's going to drip. We know that it is going to drip. That is simply, that's simply how epoxy self levels. You, work there. you can hear it. If you listen carefully, it's dripping on the ground. And the re We've got to make sure to tarp everything. We want to catch those drips so it just doesn't wind up on the floor of your garage, on the floor of your shop, anything. You really just want to mark. You just want to make sure. And I do this often, right? So I have a special pair of shoes that I wear specifically to do epoxy work because inevitably, inevitably, I'm going to step on it as it falls on the ground and the shoes get kind of gummed up so i bring out my special special shop shoes we're taking it all off the sides all off the sides okay and then what do you do on the sides after it's done you take your you take this handy dandy brush that we send you in the kit here we go and you spread it over Oop, you know what i still need to keep scraping it Scrape it off the edge. We want more drips so that I can spread it easily. Um, you can use this sponge if you want. As a second one, you can actually use your glove. Your gloved hand works as well to get those edges. Look at that. Look at all that color that's coming up. Look at all that color. So gorgeous. Wood grain is just popping. All right, what do you do with the edge? 
right? Like you can use the rubber brush or take your, take your rubber glove and just get your hand wet and just wipe it down. Sometimes that's the easiest. Just wipe it down. You'll probably need to change gloves if you're doing any work after this. Okay? So make sure you have plenty, plenty of rubber gloves handy. Again, this is just the seal coat, my friends. Just the seal coat. Now, what do you do with the drips on the bottom? That's a question as you go through. After a few minutes, like maybe 20, take your hand and just take it right underneath the table or the bar top. Gloved hand. Gloved hand is legitimately the easiest for this. Gloved hand right there. If you're feeling like there's a whole lot of epoxy coming off the edge, what you can do on the bottom too um, is you can take the spatula, you can take the spatula, and you can go right on the side. Just scrape them off. Let it hit the floor. Okay? Just let it hit the floor. And that's okay. Why is that okay? Because we've tarped our work surface, we've tarped, tarped the ground. Okay? You know, I like to do this on the first round of scraping the bottom. And then after that, I like using my glove hand. Um, we don't want any of those drips. And if you do get a bunch of drips on like the slab section or the wood section, not that big of a deal. Flip it over, sand that down, put a real light color coat of epoxy on it. You don't want to do too much because if you do too much, you're going to have a drip on the top surface of the table. So you just got to be careful with that. Let's do it. And then we're going to continue to just go through and finish scraping off the top on this seal coat. Okay. After that's done, a few hours later when it's really, really tacky, you can test that from the bottom. Go ahead and rock that flood coat on it. Time to do the flood coat. Give it a nice serve. Make sure this is perfectly, perfectly incorporated here. Um, the, the top is nice and sticky. We're going to turn around and pour on the flood coat and we're going to use our plastic trowel to get to scrape it and evenly distribute it on the top. Check it out. Here we go. This is such an exciting part of the project. Look at that. That is going to self-level wonderfully. I'm going to put some more on it. It'll level so nicely. It's so awesome. Now we're going to take our trowel. I like a quarter inch V trowel so that it leaves a nice amount, helps you spread it evenly. Look at that. If I have a quarter inch V trowel, it's actually going to leave about an eighth of an inch layer on top of it. Now you can pour upstart epoxy tabletop epoxy up to an eighth of an inch thick, my friends. Um, and again, do, don't worry about over, you don't want to overwork it, right? You definitely, definitely don't want to overwork this stuff. So just let it go. It's going to drip. We know it's going to drip. That's part of the process. So you, that's why we prepare. It's totally okay if it drips on the ground. Totally okay. Again, it's dripping on the sides for that flood coat. Take your gloved hand. Take that gloved hand and just kind of rub it down. We want to take care of those drips so we don't have any drip marks on the side. So as it's self-leveling, take your glove hand and rub it on the side of the table as well as on the bottom of the table. Check your top. Make sure you've um, spread it out nice, evenly. Notice I needed a little bit more over here that I missed, coming back for it. So again, coming around the tabletop with my gloved hand, get those drips. It will drip, which is why you absolutely 100% need to make sure your work surface and the project that you're working on Make sure that everything is level. We got some little bubbles on top, but 
Again, in a few minutes, in about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I'm going to come back. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. You can use a blowtorch if you don't have a heat gun to take care of it as well. So now this glove hand's a mess. Look at that. That's why you use the glove hand. Makes it easier. And that's why we're tarping the ground. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put another glove on. So what do we do now? We wait until it starts to set up a little bit. Then we're going to wipe down those edges, wipe down the underside to make sure we clean up those drips so there's not these big globs coming down from the table. But the top, it's going to self-level, right? And in about 20 minutes, 20 minutes, I'm going to take that heat gun, run it on, on the side. You can take a torch, run it on the top. Make sure that we pop all those bigger bubbles that show up right away. Once that's done, Upstart Epoxy is going to easily release those bubbles from the surface. Um, and it's going to be crystal clear. Check. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait until this thing's done. Hey, how's it going? What I want to do is show you the finished product. Take a look at this giant L-shaped bar with this amazing kind of glowing blue crystal clear river on the top. Pour upstart epoxy, tabletop epoxy, super gloss on it. Take a look at this thing. It's crazy. Look at this. Man, does this bar tough shine and scream and surf? Hello!